Dance has always had something else. It's movement. You are using your entire body and all of these different muscles as you're interacting with gravity. But at the same time, you have to connect to the music. You have to tell a story. Even if you don't think you are, you're having to somehow create something. My name is David Baxter, and you're never gonna believe this, but I am a six foot three, 280 pound, classically trained dancer and burlesque performer. I started doing Irish step dancing as a kid. It's what you do in our family. So in college, I was signing up for classes, so I started taking a ballet class, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I had a lot of good feedback. The one negative that people said was that I was a big guy. When I was about 25, I came to New York and I went to a musical theater conservatory where again, they seemed to be surprised by the fact that I could dance. There are people who have made it very clear without saying, you're too fat. I had a number of teachers that I would talk to and say, hey, what do I need to work on to move up? And then I would get these really vague answers. I'll monitor you and we'll see what happens. That was also a struggle because I could see a lot of teachers keep wanting to put me down just because of the way that I looked. Lately I've been focusing a lot more on burlesque than musical theater. Burlesque is the art of the tease. It's not about what you show, it's about how you show it. I don't always feel like the musical theater world knows what to do with me, and I still don't. And with the burlesque world, I can make my own way, I can do my own thing. Because I feel that there are still a lot of choreographers who want you to be one specific thing. So a big strong man is gonna be playing a big strong role and having to be big and strong. And a petite little woman is going to be playing like the pretty dainty role. And so many pieces are very, very segregated. And with burlesque, I'm trying to break out of that, do something different, show people something else. When it comes to dance, I found it's very specific. Usually it is a very specific height range and possible weight range, and that look usually revolves around your six pack and your abs. If you don't have a chiseled body, or you can't show your skin on stage, unless it's meant to be a joke, like, look at me, I'm kind of doughy and dumpy, I'm taking off my clothes, ha ha, isn't it funny, you're gonna laugh. I don't remember how, but from a very young age, I knew that I was stocky, and I kind of hated that. So I always felt like the weird one out. Now, I'm still working to accept how I look. There are days when I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then there are days where I'm just like, I don't like the way this sits, I don't like the way that sits, and I wish I could just change the way that looks. So it changes day to day. I definitely like a lot of certain aspects of myself more than I used to. Body positivity is accepting not just who you are, but who other people are. It's about respecting that there's a wide variety of people in this world. It affects everyone. Even if you are a straight woman, you're looking at all of these images of thin women, and this is how you have to present yourself. This is what you have to look like, and this is what you have to desire. And I think the inverse is also true of men when it comes to our, the media that we consume. Men are not presented as sex symbols in the way that women are, but it still affects us. When you look at eating disorders, like on a college campus, right behind women you have a lot of college athletes because they're constantly talking about getting into the right weight class. They get pressure to look a certain way, making sure you fit that masculine ideal of strength, all of these things that we have defined masculinity as. Simply as being a burlesque performer, going up on stage and promoting myself, I feel that that is a big step towards body diversity. I've definitely had people come up to me after shows and say, you know, I've always felt ashamed of who I am, but seeing you on stage reveling in um, who you are and just being yourself has given me so much more confidence. Body positivity for this generation means that we see a diverse group of people in movies, in TV, in comic books. We go to the theater and we see a diverse group of people. We go to burlesque shows and we see people being presented as attractive and having a wide variety of body types and body shapes. Embracing body diversity helps reaffirm that it's okay to be not 
Barbie and Ken. Right before I get on stage, it's terrifying. That is when all of my doubts and fears show up. But what's kind of funny is that the moment the music starts and I can kind of see that weird lit but darkness that you see when you're on, if you're on stage looking out into the audience, all that goes away. And all of a sudden I'm just like, yeah, I'm here and you're gonna watch me and I really don't care. I am burlesque and I am a dancer and I am a performer and these things are not contradictory. These things can all work together, even though I'm not the type of person that most people think of when they think of somebody on stage. 